Good morning. It's Valerie Ling here, clinical psychologist and your burnout prevention advocate. Oh, um, today I uh, posted a photo in the practice Facebook page. Follow us uh, at Center for Effective Living. That's the general practice page. I, of course, own a group psychology practice of uh, wonderful, well-trained, skillful psychologists. And um, it was a picture of my laundry basket, uh, not a very flattering one. And then as I started this live video, look at my background. I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep it real because it's in tandem with uh, what I wanna chat about today. Uh, look at that, we've got boxes, we've got an ironing board, and I, <laughs> that's in the dining room. Um, hopefully my family um, don't feel embarrassed that I'm showing this. Ah, well, I'm just keeping it real. So I posted that photo about my laundry basket because when I did this radio interview on Hope 103.2, and we talked about parental burnout, and we were talking about, you know, what is the big deal? What's the deal? Why are we burning out as parents? And um, one of the things that I said is because our normal becomes a view of social media. When we see post after post after post after post of these polished, ordered, beautiful uh, pictures, <clears throat> cognitively, uh, we, ha we attribute that to normal. Our human beings are fundamentally biased in attributions, meaning that we will more, more than likely attribute positivity to other people and attribute negativity to ourselves. <clears throat> and so social media doesn't help this cause because when you see all the stuff that's just flowing on your news feed, and news is real, right? True. We think that's normal. Now today I must speak a little softer because yesterday I actually gave myself a sore throat from all my robust stuff. So when I posted that photo, I thought to myself, oh, this will be interesting. Should I justify that? Should I actually give people an explanation? And I decided, well, no, I'm not going to do that. It probably does make some of us feel uncomfortable. And I wanted to talk about possibly why it makes us feel uncomfortable uh, to actually be posting what actually really goes on in our world. And I think one part of it comes from the confusion between character, situation, and skill. Character, situation, and skill. You will very often find me talking about how burnout really has gen uh, an origin or has roots in ambivalence, any kind of role ambivalence, or you're not clear about stuff, um, all of our attribution biases come up to play. So character, situation, and skill. We can often feel ashamed uh, about what our world is like and what our life is like because we actually think that it's somehow a comment on our character, on our personhood. So my laundry basket sitting in the sink for three days therefore speaks about my character of diligence, my role as a, as a mom. If I really drill down into it, some of my gender thoughts about what I should or should not be. So character is, a, you know, there's really an annihilation of character. And sometimes when you see what goes on in social media, when someone puts up some kind of post, inevitably, there will be at least one post that will cause you to stop and think, oh, that went a little too far. Why? Because it was personal. It was a personal attack, usually to someone's character. Situation, however, is quite different. That means that we objectively look and see what is happening in my world. Do, 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 do. Look what's happening in my world. And objectively say, there's some chaos happening right now. In other situations, uh, I probably would respond a little differently. In other situations, my laundry basket would look a little differently. Situationally, some stuff is going on that is impacting the way that I would typically function. And finally, skill. When we objectively look at what's going on, and it's not the situation, and it's not our character, because you might be uh, <clears throat> able to be on top of other things, like your work and things like that. I got to a zero email inbox today. It could possibly be a skill, something that you haven't quite acquired or picked up. 
Um, a while ago, I figured out that I did have some skill gaps uh, in being able to get on top of something like making sure that we always had milk in the fridge. I needed a system, I needed some skills to figure out how to keep on top of grocery shopping. Now, those three things, once you get a head around them, uh, it helps you to get out of the cripple of feeling self-critical and allowing other people to judge you. It's not your character, if it's not your character, because in other areas you are diligent, hardworking. Um, could it be the situation? Or could it be possibly that you've just basically got something that you've got to pick up and learn a skill? Would you have a think about that? <clears throat> because burnout, perfectionism, uh, unrelenting standards that we have for ourselves and the voices we allow to dictate to us what we should and should not do, it really comes down oftentimes to a confusion of these three things, character, situation and skill. And I'd love for you to be free from that. I'd love for you to have some clarity. I don't expect you to post a photo of your chaos. That's totally on me. But I do hope that it will prompt a little bit of reflection. If it did make you feel uncomfortable, if you thought you needed to rescue me, if you felt a little embarrassed for me, where does that come from? And have you ever felt that for yourself? Be the change. Flame on.